as we check in with Brandon, or it looks like this rain's going to continue through the Labor Day weekend. Yeah, we got another storm system moving in that's going to keep that same pattern kind of going. So we're stuck in this pattern at least for several days now. And I know we got outdoor plans. We want to avoid the rain. There will be some dry time in the mix. I don't think it's going to be raining from start to finish, but just like the last couple of days, we're going to get some decent rounds of thunderstorms in here. And we've seen that already. We had one severe thunderstorm warning earlier across northern Miami Dade that has since weakened and fizzled out just some strong winds that was near Doral with that just a small localized area. I really don't uh, suspect we're going to get much in the way of severe weather today, but one or two storms could briefly become strong. Nothing strong here about this one. Little shower coming in Lauderdale by the sea heads up Wilton Manors, Oakland Park. That one's headed your way next. We're looking all right here in the keys. Few showers up towards the upper keys, but overall I think we're doing a little bit better on radar today versus what we had around yesterday. So rain chance will be at about 50%. Lots of dry time today, but some occasional showers and thunderstorms will keep some decent rain chances in for tonight too. And our model does show that well, how we get a few showers and thunderstorms. Check it out by five o'clock. Doesn't look too bad. And then later on tonight for any Friday night plans, we'll get a couple more spotty showers and thunderstorms. Could contain lots of lightning like the last couple of nights. In the tropics, two areas we're watching. The first one has a moderate 40% chance of development. The second one way behind that one has only a 20% chance. So our focus is more so on this leading edge one. This one will move towards the leeward and windward islands. This is going to be on Monday. So by Tuesday and Wednesday, it's here in the Caribbean and conditions do become a little favorable for at least some development in this area. So this is something that us here in Florida, we should be watching, but we have lots of time to do so. You can see it's still in the middle of the Caribbean, even on Wednesday, the one behind it, plenty of time to watch it. This one will even have some opportunities to escape to the north. So we're doing all right in the tropics for right now, considering the peak is only a couple weeks away. We'll focus on our local forecast, including timing out that rain for the holiday weekend to Christie. Could be a little stormy at times. I'll help you get around it coming up. OK, sounds good. We know you're on it. And hurricane specialist and storm surge expert Michael Lowry will also have the very latest on the tropics and later newscasts today. You can also sign up for his daily talking about the tropics, his newsletter. It's scanning the QR code right there on your screen. That's how you can get to that. And we still have a couple of showers showing up on radar. And we have even more back here towards the Bahamas. This is going to move in later today. We're getting some showers and storms off the water, just not as widespread as yesterday. This was earlier this morning. Notice how you just get some of these cells coming in. You get some rain here. You go a few blocks down in Miami Beach and they're still dry. That's how today's going to be. That's what we mean when we say hit or miss. There's another shower rolling in. Then the sun comes back out again. It's that kind of pattern today. So at least we're still getting some dry time, but you can still see some dark clouds out there from time to time. So we've had some showers and thunderstorms, even had a storm briefly near severe limits earlier. This was a little after 11 a.m. near Doral that has since weakened and moved off into the Everglades. Anyways, there's a couple of those showers developing right along the coastline. So yeah, we're getting a couple little spotty stuff. I think the next big round of rain is still back here towards the Bahamas. It's around and east of Bimini. So it's going to take some time to move in a little bit later on this afternoon. Looking all right, at least in the middle and lower keys. So Key West, I think you're doing good for the next little bit. So rain chances at about 50%. That is lower than what it's going to be for the weekend. We do have a higher chance of running into the, some of those occasional showers and thunderstorms. Highs may briefly touch 90, 91 since we are getting some sun in between. Our model has been doing pretty well today. Some spotty showers and thunderstorms moving through. You can see lots of dry time at times too. Next round of storms will also arrive going into tonight. Expect some bright lightning strikes and some really loud thunder, kind of like what we had at times over the last few nights. So here's our disturbance. Area of low pressure, not at the surface, is up by the clouds. So that's why we call it an upper level low. It kind of backs into South Florida. What you're looking at the colors here in the background is some spin in the atmosphere. It shows us where the energy is to kind of get those storms moving. And we got it right on top of us. It pulls in all that moisture from Cuba, brings it right on top of South Florida. So you want some dry time and you're doing some traveling across the state for the holiday weekend. Tallahassee looks beautiful. Hardly any rain up there. Northern Florida is the place to be for the holiday weekend. All the rain is us here in South Florida. More than two inches expected when you add up all the storms that we'll see through at least Monday. So the rain chance goes up 50 today. 
up to 70% this weekend. Gives you a good comparison. Not that it's going to be a washout. There'll be lots of dry time in the mix too, but you just run into a much higher chance of running into those showers and thunderstorms and probably at multiple points through the day. And they could last a while. Could pick up some heavy rain. Should keep our highs into the upper 80s. So no heat advisories around for the holiday weekend. We'll be back to our normal pattern as we get past Monday. So middle of next week.